By utilizing advanced scientific methods, researchers have been able to capture light within the confines of a magnet. According to a recent research conducted by Vinod M. Menon and his colleagues at the City College of New York, the confinement of light within magnetic materials could significantly amplify their inherent characteristics. The robust optical reactions of magnets are crucial for the progression of magnetic lasers and magneto-optical memory devices, as well as the emergence of quantum transduction applications. Menon and his colleagues have divulged their findings on a layered magnet that is capable of harboring excitons that bind tightly, thus forming quasi-particles with robust optical interactions. The material, as demonstrated by their experiments, can imprison light independently. This material's optical response to magnetic phenomena is significantly greater than that of typical magnets. Dr. Florian Dernberger, the lead author of the study, explained that because the light ricochets back and forth within the magnet, interactions are genuinely enriched. When subjected to an external magnetic field, the near-infrared reflection of light is transformed to such a degree that the material appears to change color. This constitutes a substantial magneto-optic reaction. According to Menon, it is unusual for light to exhibit a significant reaction to magnetic fields. As a result, technological applications that rely on magneto-optic effects often necessitate the use of delicate optical detection systems. According to Jiamin Kwan, one of the co-authors of the study, the advancements in magnetic materials can have a significant impact on the general population. Currently, the technological applications of magnetic materials are primarily focused on magnetoelectric phenomena. However, with the discovery of the strong interactions between magnetism and light, there is a possibility of developing magnetic lasers and revisiting the idea of optically controlled magnetic memory. A graduate student named Reslind Bushati was also involved in the experimental work conducted by the Menon Group. This study emerged as a result of a large-scale international collaboration involving Andrea Alu and his team at CUNY Advanced Science Research Center. Dr. Jeffrey Diederich conducted measurements at the University of Washington in collaboration with Prefrant Xiao Dong Xu to complement experiments carried out at CCNY and ASRC. Theoretical support was provided by Dr. Akash Deep Camera and Prefer Francisco J. Garcia Vidal from the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, as well as Dr. Matthias Florian from the University of Michigan. The materials utilized were grown by Xenia Mosina and Prefer Zdenek Sofa at UCT Prague. The project was also supported by Dr. Julian Klein at MIT, the U.S. Air Force Office of Scientific Research, the National Science Foundation, NSF, Division of Materials Research, the NSF Crest Ideal Center, DARPA and the German Research Foundation provided support for the work conducted at CCNY. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.